What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mud. Ah, there's so much light. And just that for a little while. What is this? What? These are not vampire counts. What is going on? That's right, players. February is going to be the month that the Dark Eldar make a return to Warboss Tay's channel. We're gonna put aside those spooky yuki vampires. Lewis and Igor are out hitting the club, so we're gonna let them do that for a little while. They're, uh, Rolling on 22s. Meanwhile, I am going to get to work on this commission job that I just took on for a friend of mine. So um, these are Dark Eldar, and what I've got are two boxes of witches and a venom so far. Now the venom is one of possibly two, and uh, the client asked me to build them to certain specifics, which I will definitely do, but I will unbox these separately in their own videos. Um, so I'm gonna make unboxing videos of the witches and the, the venom separately, but I'm also gonna be doing project updates. Uh, my good friend over at Man of War Gaming, um, who just did Project Empire, inspired me to get this started again. I was planning on just doing this on the side of everything else I was doing. But, um, like the ogres and the vampire counts, all that's still coming along. But this is just a prep that once February starts, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of Dark Eldar love every single day, updating you all on the Facebooks on how I'm doing, and um, just, you know, giving you my, my War Boss Tay insights. Um, yeah, what else, what else do I have to say? My goal is to get these three boxes done, two boxes of witches, and this venom done by. Uh, when was it? Uh, St. Patty's Day in America, St. Patrick's Day. So that's in March, and that uh, gives me like a month and some change, a couple of, uh, of maybe like two weeks or one week and some extra days. I, ca I can't really remember right now, but it's right now it's January 31st, and I'm getting ready to go. So come along and join me as we start Project Dark Eldar. All right, so I'm feeling really motivated, so I'm gonna get started, and I'm going to start building up my Dark Eldar. And I'm, uh, I'm not gonna put you all through the boring uh, assembly phase, because um, I don't feel like that'll be worth the camera time. But what I am gonna do is tell you what I'm gonna build up, and then I'm going to go off and do it for a couple of hours, and then, and then we will have a little wrap up at the end of this uh, day one video to show you how far I got. Okay, so the plan is one, uh, God, what are they called, Hecatrix? Not Succubus, the, uh, you know, the witch champion girl. The client wants her to have the blaster pistol and an agonizer, which is that little baby over there. And he also wanted um, the Hydra gauntlets. So there is one pair of Hydra gauntlets in here, so I'm gonna build that up. Yeah, okay, so stay tuned and we'll see how far we get in a couple of hours. I'm gonna shoot for, I'm gonna shoot for three. Right now it's 6.30 um, p.m. where I am, so I'm gonna shoot for 9.30. All right, we'll see how far I get. All right, so I'm actually done um, a little bit early. I decided not to go the full three hours, um, but I've only ended up making one box of witches. So let me show you what they look like, how they turned out. Here's my witch with the Hydra gauntlets. I decided to make this one a man baby. Uh, I hope I grabbed the correct male head. Some of these man heads, um, they like it's hard to tell if if they're they're for men or women. But I think it's just the facial structure is a little bit more bulkier and beefier than the woman heads, such as this one. If you look at like the brow lines, the the slope of the of the heads are a little bit thinner, slimmer. Here's my um, big boss lady with the agonizer and blaster pistol. She's got the long ponytail. <clears throat> and uh, she's the only one that's got both feet on the ground. And I have her kind of placed to look like she's kind of uh, propping herself up like she just fired her blaster pistol. And it's like and is bracing from the impact. And you can see kind of the, the direction that her little tabard is going and kind of suggests that the flow of of movement as well. Uh, what else have we got? I really like the the angle of this one. It looks really 
feminine. Um, the, the legs, the way that one of the legs is kind of like hooked up, the left leg is hooked up in almost like a canter, and the right is like, she's kind of like bracing herself, uh, running to a stop almost, rather than sprinting forward. The way her body is kind of leaned back, like, oh, I just came upon a mob of 30 orcs. I gotta slow down and figure out how to best approach it, where this girl is just like, oh, kill them orcs! Charge! I'm crazy! I'm hopped up. I'm hopped up on dust and flex. <laughs> and here's a, uh, another girl. Here's one of the boys, one of the boy witches. Splinter pistol and close combat weapons. I like these. Some of these knives have these like holes and jagged serrated edges. I think that's really awesome. It's another male. Oh, where's your hair? Where's your long, luxurious hair? And here is another boy, boy witch. He's running forward, he's shooting as he goes pew 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 So, really great character. I love these witch models. I think they're so full of um, so full of detail and character and you can really get a good narration for them. For these guys, um, the client is gonna do his own basing, so I'm not gonna worry about any of the basing, so I'm just gonna get started and um, get into painting, but before I do I'm going to build up my other witch squad so that I've got uh, two, so, so I don't have to stop halfway through this project and go back. I feel it's always more um, efficient to get everything done one step at a time for everybody rather than having to stop and go back. So the next step is I'm going to build me um, another box of witches and then uh, day three we'll see about building the venom and then priming everything all at once. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed day one. It actually started as like a, a pre-show uh, Project Dark Eldar, and uh, but now I guess it's officially begun. Project Dark Eldar is probably going to take the next couple of weeks. And um, my, my work schedule is picking up, so it's going to be harder and harder for me to find more time to dedicate to my hobby. So um, we'll see what we can do. My goal is to just do a little bit every single night for for this project and see how how quickly and effectively I can paint these guys up. So thanks for watching. I suggest, hey, if you've got a project that you want to um, dig into, something that may be lying on the side of your painting table that uh, you need to get to, then by all means, join in and uh, either leave video responses to this one or or, or to, to your own projects and just let me know, um, share it with me and uh, I'll be sure to give yours a shout out. So Project Dark Eldar kicking off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave me a comment before you go and we'll see you in the next one.